Uganda is implementing a range of projects in various sectors such as sustainable livelihoods, environmental protection, emergency response, wash, psychosocial support, community service, protection, construction and shelter peace building. Uganda provides homes to nearly 1.7 million refugees and asylum seekers. Most refugees coming from South Sudan, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Somalia, and Burundi, Rwanda World Federation has encountered numerous challenges in terms of resources to handle the 1.7 million refugees in Uganda, especially during refugee response, as Adriana Franco Chitanana, country representative of the Rwanda World Federation, explains. It's about the diminishing resources, but still um, making sure that we're able to support the 1.7 million refugees which are in Uganda. The government of Uganda has an amazing progressive policy on refugees, welcoming refugees into the country. Adriana Franco made the remarks during the 45 years celebration of service in Uganda in removing humanitarianism through serving the most vulnerable populations, extending timely, compassionate and expert humanitarian aid to those in the most inaccessible regions. She adds that in the 45 years they have encountered many challenges towards quick response to emergency, especially from people's opinions. The challenges that we've had in Uganda have been always uh, the the responses to emergencies. Um, it's always a challenge whenever you need to quickly respond to an emergency. Um, you need to adapt, you need to show up, and, um, and you need to really speak with everyone properly to make sure that whatever you're responding to is making sense, uh, the way that you're doing it, and that you're also inclusive of different people's opinions and voices. Chauva says that it is vital for both international and local community to contribute towards supporting refugees in different settlements in Uganda. Um, I do agree that it's really important for the international community and local organizations as much as possible to also contribute and collaborate to that cause because if we're not in it together then, then it won't work. So I think right now we're continuing the coordination with various partners including OPM and UNHCR as well as other INGOs and NGOs in order for us to be able to continue to meet those needs. Adriana further revealed the strategic plan of the Rutherland World Federation for their 2025-2031 focusing on climate resilience ideas in Uganda and getting a better action on tackling the issue of climate change. We're going to be focusing on climate resilient livelihoods. Livelihoods is something that comes up again and again with all of the communities in Uganda. We need to support people in order to be self-reliant and to have better options themselves for their own future. Um, we're also going to be investing more in partnerships, both international and local, and we're going to be investing more in um, innovations. So how can we do our work differently? Some of the the Rwanda Federation beneficiaries for just 45 years had this to say. That you share that problem. But because for those people did not have uh, the outpatient center, it put up the outpatient center, which is now being used by the staff as the houses. When the government of Uganda, the current government of your seven, came in and built a bigger one. Now, I must tell you, it also so when you went down to take statistics research. It found there were few Kagonyo under the government jobs in Kagonyo. It then introduced the program of sponsoring the one number of children in Kagonyo. Julius Momoza, Church of Uganda Family TV, News at 8.